Got a sell-off. Uh, it's gripping the crypto market again. Bitcoin touching lowest levels since June. Lots of other smaller cryptocurrencies retreating as well. Ted Seyfried of Zayna Ag Hedge at the CME is with us. Ted, what's behind this latest bout of crypto selling? <laughs> Well, you know what, Mark? I think it's been there all along. You've had people that have been very skeptical of whether cryptocurrencies are a valuable store of currency or not. Uh, and when you have technical breakdowns in the chart, those voices get even louder. Now that we've cracked 6,000 in, in Bitcoin, that makes it even more concerning. And it looks like we could be rolling over further to the downside. I think it might be just a little bit too early to call it a bubble, but... I don't know. It has the makings of something of that nature. When you have so many people that are skeptical of something like that and the selling really kind of starts to pile in, it can cause a run for the doors. Let's talk about crude. So let the panicking selling begin. If you're a panic seller, sell your crypto. It's going to zero. <laughs> no, um, it is unfortunate that we are hitting this dip, but like I said, this recovery in these prices is great for crypto because um, if you've been following the content in the channel, um, even the price is down. There's more and more people interested in cryptocurrency. There's more and more engineers working on crypto projects. And like I said, they haven't been realized yet. Everything, it's kind of just like the, the dot-com bubble. Um, everything's going to crash and... The people that bought during the crash of the dot-com bubble, especially if you pick the right stocks like Amazon, um, uh, you're going to do well, and uh, or Google. <laughs> so that's what you really want to do in this market is, yes, we're down. Yes, this is a great time to buy because you got prices as, as low as June, which means it's actually now lower than whatever time I started investing. I started investing in July of last year. So... Not going to lie, I'm definitely down now on crypto. Uh, no crypto profits for me. But like I said, I didn't invest a large amount of my crypto. I, I was educating myself, and I'm going to continue to buy this dip. Now, I'm not super aggressive. It is tough to continue to throw my money into crypto, especially as the U.S. dollar is getting stronger. But I'm going to be buying solid coins, especially altcoins, because I've kind of seen this Bitcoin dominance fluctuate, fluctuate in and out. So um, especially if Bitcoin dominance goes over 60% or even like 70%, I'm going to actually buy more altcoins than Bitcoin. But my altcoins are going to just be the Coinbase coins in the top 10. So uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, um, and then what is it? Yeah, and if, if I can get my hands on some Cardano and some Ripple, but... Really, I'm just going to stick to the Coinbase coins for now. Um, but let me know your thoughts on this. Obviously, it's it's unfortunate, but uh, I do feel like long-term crypto will easily recover and easily uh, surpass the all-time high of 850 billion. But let me know your thoughts, and I will talk to you soon.